Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. First thing first, I want you to say thank you for all the kind words on my last video. You made me feel so so loved and just so supported and thank you so so much. And if you missed it guys, go watch it now because apparently you don't know that I moved to Florence. Totally unexpected, I know. But yeah, go watch my previous video after this one so you know the whole story. And just promised, I wanted to start sharing a little bit more about the whole process and the move and everything. And I decided to start from rent because it is a very hot topic. As it seems like finding a place to rent in Florence is even tougher than finding one in Bologna. Changing the scenery a little bit because it was too loud otherwise. But anyway, the rent and finding an apartment has been the source of major stress for me in the past couple of weeks. So I've been just learning to take it one day at a time and also adjusting my expectations quite a lot. Speaking of which, you know, uh, you may have your wishes for the perfect apartment, but perfect apartment apparently does not exist here. So you just need to find something that truly matters to you. And you know, it's just ridiculous just how many people are looking for an apartment in Florence at the same time. You've no idea just how many times it's happened to me that I've seen an ad and I called and asked about the apartment and then I heard it's just been rented. And it's happened to me multiple times and the ads are still on but then the apartments are rented out super quickly and you actually have to be quick to, in order to secure yours and just guys i mean it's a race it's an actual race i start my days now by uh, browsing the ads and calling the people and just trying to find something for me now speaking of prices i've come to realize that there are two kinds of prices in florence there are prices for probably you know like long-term tourists or just you know people coming here and wanting to stay in the city center and willing to pay 5,000 euros per month sometimes more sometimes less and it's just absurd and then there are the apartments that are located a bit further away from the city center still in nice areas but way further away from the historical center that cost more or less the same as they cost in Bologna I wouldn't say that these apartments cost way too much compared to Bologna and other big cities. But then uh, my main complaint now is the quality of these apartments, because I strongly believe that the price must reflect the quality. And when you see the apartment of a very poor quality, I mean, I get it, there are older apartments, it's okay, but the price must be adjusted accordingly. But sometimes I see a certain price tag and I'm appalled at the state of these apartments. This is the craziest announcement I've ever seen with the walls being covered in mold and you can clearly see it from the pictures. And the ad states that it will be on the tenant to paint these walls. But like, excuse me, how about some anti-mold treatment or anything? Luckily, there aren't as many apartments as this one renting out. But you know, still, I mean, someone is renting out this place which is crazy. But this is not even the most ridiculous thing. You have to meet certain criteria as the prospective tenant. And you will often see on this announcement something saying like solo referenziati, which literally translates to only reference people. And reference here in Italy means you need to show the proof of your income, you need to show that you have a stable job, that you need a work contract, ideally an indefinite work contract and everything. And this is, I mean, like this is very common for all major cities in Italy. Then sometimes some people will take it further and say solo referenziatissimi. And referenziatissimi is the Italian way of exaggerating words. And this means that you need to be very, very referenced. And this actually means something different for uh, every landlord or every agency you're talking to. This is just crazy, guys. I've actually seen houses and apartments aimed at certain kinds of people like the one that was rented out only for medical interns and the other one that was only and strictly for female teachers i mean like really some landlords want certain professions inside their apartments 
I mean, guys, apparently nobody's looking for bloggers here. So some takeaways from my whole house hunting journey, because I've also been getting some messages from fellow expats looking for places or wanting to move here to Florence and wanting to find a place here and asking for advice. My biggest advice for you guys is to start early, start as early as possible because it will take you some time to find your perfect place. And speaking of a perfect place, you will need to compromise on something. Choose your heel, stand on it, whether it's the price or location or the quality or the size or anything, and then be willing to adjust your expectations with everything else because uh, finding an ideal place here is quite difficult. The rental market is insane. And I mean, there are so many people wanting to live in Florence. Naturally, I get them. But yeah, you will just have to be quick. You will have to start early and you will have to compromise on something. Maybe not something big, but be ready to compromise on at least some of your requirements for the flat. I mean, as cliche as it sounds, it will not be easy, most likely, but it will be worth it because there is nothing like signing the tenancy agreement in Italy when you feel like you finally made it. And also, I mean, guys, it's Florence, so you'll probably be spending most of your time outside anyways, and you know, a little adjustment here and there won't hurt anyone. Most importantly, don't get discouraged. I'm a firm believer that our perfect homes we have the tendency of finding us if we have a little patience you're not alone in it guys know the time with you share your journey in the comments if you had uh, this experience of finding a place in florence tuscany or italy in general make sure to leave me a comment if you're looking for a place right now let me know so in the comments i'll just send you some support from a fellow house hunting girl and guys thank you so much for staying here with me through this journey and through my rant about rent in tuscany and also i will update you of course on how it's going i will update you on you know all the news and how i'm settling down here in florence guys by the way if you don't follow me on instagram make sure to give me a follow there because i share all the news first there and uh you know all the updates in real time so yeah make sure to check it out and of course don't forget to like and comment this video subscribe if you're not subscribed yet so you don't miss anything from my florence adventures and thank you so much i will see you in the next video guys have a great day ahead